Holy cow, you guys, it's been so long. So I'm just going to try to make a quick video, put it all out there, what's been going on, and it's been a while. Jeez. I know I look rough. I'm outside uh, working on the roof. I did as much as I could right now until Dad can come help. So I'm waiting on him, and while I do that, I thought, hey, now's the perfect time to talk with you. I've been wanting to catch you up for a while. Nate and I got really sick, and once I started taking my medicine for pneumonia uh, four days ago, I'm finally feeling better. How have you guys been? Man, has it been forever. It actually feels kind of funny recording a video because it's been so long. Besides all the crap that's been going on, I've also been wanting to put out videos anyways, but I don't know what. So that would be appreciated if you guys got any ideas. I've been kind of stuck on that. So last I remember telling you guys was Nathan was blacking out without any warning. He just hit the ground and that was it. We did a lot of tests. Um, he did a tilt table test. And if you, for those of you watching that haven't seen that video, I will link it when you get to the end of this video. Doctor said all those tests came back normal. He had the heart monitor on for 30 days. Days later, after taking the heart monitor off, he had another episode. And I had found him just behind the door here. So, uh, that's been a little nerve-wracking, trying to figure it out. Just get a damn name on it. You guys know how that is trying to get a name on whatever you're going through because you feel like you're crazy. And although this is a little different, it's like an invisible illness, whatever he's got going on, because you don't see it until it's happening, right? He was sent to the brain doctor, the neurologist. He was set up for a brain scan and EEG to be exact. And we had to reschedule because we were sick and uh, especially with all the stuff going on right now. So we go in for that tomorrow. Um, and then we have to wait results and all that stuff. You guys know how that goes. So fingers crossed we figure out what's going on. I uh, recently found out this happened to Nate before when he was a kid. But then all of a sudden it disappeared as a teenager and now it's back again. But like the doctor said, it could be something totally unrelated. I did learn something though from the neurologist when we had our first appointment with him. You know, they really don't do anything right away because we had to wait four to six weeks for insurance to, to approve um, his EEG and MRI. He's also getting an MRI done too. Thursday, I believe. So we have those appointments coming up. Oh, so what I learned was the doctor said that I gave a really good description of what happened when I've been around. Nate would have his episode. I never seen him go down. I've been the one to find him lately because I always find him face down in his hands by his side is that he's actually completely unconscious before he hits the ground. That's why when he hits the ground, he's in that same position every time. That's scary. And he's been off of work for, I want to say, almost three months, right? No short-term disability. No nothing. So that's that's been really hard. Uh, I haven't been able to go back to work since this COVID stuff. And it really sucks. It really sucks, but... Uh, if I have to go out there and find some kind of factory job or something, then so be it. Just trying to get a name on this uh, so we can get some kind of treatment plan started. That's all we really, really want right now. I'm worried about him being alone, even with the kids, you know. Uh, I did teach Gracie everything to do. Before I wake him up, I'm supposed to check. I have a cuff. He's got it right now. He actually went back to work just for today because they really need his help. But he can't do, the doctor says he can't do anything that could potentially hurt him or himself. In his kind of work, it's very physical. So I keep checking in with him and making sure that he's watching that. Oh, anyways, I'm sorry. Uh, pulse, blood pressure, and now sugar before waking him up. And then right away I'm supposed to call the doctor with all that information. Um, now that we have the glucose meter and the blood pressure monitor, he hasn't had an episode yet. But the doctor did say... If I could gather up that information, that, that, that could give him like years worth of testing him. So it'd be really good. Yeah, that, that's what we gotta wait for. And if you guys wanna know brain scan and how all that stuff goes, let me know and I'll make sure to update you on that too. Last video, a stinking fly go away. I end up finding out some more bad news is that dad's leukemia is coming back. We don't know where it's at, more testing, you know, all that stuff so he says he feels decent hopefully they caught it early enough this time so we don't know we don't know until all these tests come through and then we can find out more
So that was another hard thing. Yeah, and then we got sick. And then the dryer decided to stop working on me yesterday. So, <laughs> you know how it goes, you guys. When it rains, it pours. When it pours, it, it hails. So, but we're just trying to tackle one thing at a time. I think that's the main things that are going on right now. Uh, the kids are back in school. They, they actually really missed it. Um, they're doing really good. Now, how are you guys? Staying healthy? Ready for things to go back to normal? I you know, things just been kind of crazy everywhere right now. But the sun is shining today, and that's a bonus. Uh, I just kind of threw you up in the window and started talking with you. <laughs> I love hearing from you guys, as you know. So please make sure to tell me how you're doing. I want to try to stay a little more in touch. Uh, make sure you hit me up on Instagram, okay? Just one day at a time, you guys. And if there's any videos you want me to do, let me know. I'm, I'd like to get back into sharing little videos of different invisible illnesses kind of thing, you know? It seemed like you guys really like those. I am still here if you need to email me or you want me to give you a jingle. I can still do that. Uh, I have talked to a couple of you. Not as much lately. It'd be so nice to hear from you guys. It's been too long. I'm sure I'm forgetting something. Once I get the video up there, it'll come to my mind. So, but I better get my butt back in gear. Oh, by the way, uh, speaking of uh, being sick, I was in a flare-up for four days. That was hell. I haven't gone in a flare for a while. I've been pretty good at managing that, you know, but that really kicked me on my ass. And it wasn't just that mild flare that I can function with. It, it was pretty bad. But uh, we're doing better now. Please, please let me know how you're doing. I uh, love yous, and I hope you're doing all right. If not, hang in there and come reach out, talk to me, and I'll talk to you soon. Fingers crossed, really soon. Give me some ideas, okay? Okay, bye guys. Mm -hmm.